two more elements I'd like to teach you. These are called span and div. Span and div are both normal elements. They can both have content. And the only difference between these two is span is inline and div is block. We'll play around with these in the editor a little bit, but these elements don't do anything other than just contain their content. And there's a way to attach styles to them to adjust different uh, behaviors of how they display. That looks something like this. So you can see I've added two attributes, or an attribute to each of these called class. And this is a CSS class. And this is uh, not something we're going to spend a whole lot of time on in this course. I'll provide most of the CSS. But it's a separate language for adding styles to your documents, or, or changing, the, changing how uh, different text looks. And we'll be using spans and divs a lot for you know, controlling how text is laid out. But the important thing to remember is that spans are inline, and divs are block. Let's play around with these in the browser a little bit real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. OK, so we've got our text. And our first line is wrapped in span. And it behaves as, as uh, we would expect an inline element to behave. Now, if I were to change the span to a div, it behaves more like how the uh, paragraph tag before behaved. This div is actually this creates a, 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 a box around this piece of text. And you can see my, we actually did something interesting. I added a little period after the div, and the period appears down on the second line here. What I'd like you to do is check all of the elements that are in line. Some of these elements you haven't seen before, so I would like you to try them out in your own browser and figure it out for yourself.